Welcome back. Now, as we know, the RBI has raised rates by 50 basis points today. This is the fourth straight hike uh, undertaken by the Reserve Bank of India to rein in inflation. On our radar today is Max Ventures. We're joined by the MD and CEO Sahil Vachani to discuss the impact of the latest rate hike on the real estate sector, the demand, if it's going to get impacted. Um, Sahil, afternoon and thanks so much for joining in. Another rate hike. Do you see, you know, the high interest rates impacting demand? Uh, thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, uh, thank you for having me. Um, yeah, so I think uh, Max Ventures is in two uh, uh, verticals, commercial real estate and residential real estate. Um, on the first commercial real estate, we do not see a significant a dip in uh, office demand uh, as a result of the rate hike. Uh, we believe that the return to office uh, has happened and there is a huge mismatch between the supply and demand of office space. We are seeing this year in 2022 demand of office space um, back to pre-pandemic level of 2019 and anticipated to grow moving forward. Uh, on the residential side, absolutely. I think there, there, there is anticipated to be a, some um, impact impact of demand at a macro level uh, for uh, housing because uh, the cost of borrowing obviously will increase. Uh, having said that, uh, we still do believe that for uh, us at Max Estates, given that we are just starting our journey, uh, our aspiration to do a, a relatively modest volume of a million and a half square feet uh, a year, uh, we do not anticipate a negative uh, uh, impact to Max uh, Estates and Max Ventures per se. But at a macro level, yes, obviously, this will uh, reduce the affordability in that sense. Okay. So, uh, Sal, good afternoon. You said one and a half million square feet of volumes in the residential segment on a yearly basis is what you're targeting. What does it do to your realization? Since you're talking about how affordability at a macro level will be impacted, do you think it will impact pricing as well in the sector and for your company in particular? Uh, not really. Uh, we uh, do not uh, see an impact on pricing. Uh, although we are on the on the on the opposite side, though we are seeing an upward trend both in the real estate prices and pricing. There has been a reduction overall in the unsold inventory, uh, and we are coming to a, a low period of the unsold inventory, uh, to, so as to speak. So we feel that with the commodity price pressures that had increased, there will be some pass on on that to the customer and also the overall real estate sentiment remaining extremely positive and bullish. Uh, we do not see pricing coming under pressure uh, and more so for max estates, uh, given that we are in the price point of in the range of 12,000 to 16, 17,000 rupees a square foot. Uh, we do not see uh, significant price pressures at this price at this at this range. OK, I uh, just wanted to get an update. You sold your packaging films business. Uh, have you received the entire amount of 660 crore or is anything pending? So we've received about 550 crores of the 650 crores. Uh, the remaining 100 crores, uh, 120 odd crores is committed to be received uh, by June 2023. Okay. So what are the plans with the money that you've received? Of course, your focus now is completely on real estate. You have made some acquisition in terms of land parcels at Noida Expressway. There are some more, more projects in the pipeline. Uh, will this money go into that? What is the pipeline looking like for the rest of the year? Uh, yes, so uh, the intent is uh, for all the capital to be deployed across two asset classes, which is commercial real estate and residential uh, real estate in the national capital region. Uh, so we have already announced two opportunities in Noida, one for 1 million square feet of a residential development uh, and one for a 1.2 million square feet of an office development. Uh, in addition, we have also recently announced an acquisition of a seven acre land parcel that entails uh, a, a possible potential development of 1.6 million square feet in Gurgaon. And we are on the lookout of in the near future, hoping to close a residential opportunity in Gurgaon as well. So as we step back and look at it, it is approximately going to be a footprint of 7 million square feet across office and residential in Noida and Gurgaon. Uh, we are currently at about 2 million square feet in total. So this will uh, this will be a significant jump. Uh, and uh, we are confident um, that this will enable us to emerge as the top few leading real estate developers in the national capital region. Also delighted to share that a few days ago, we have announced in our office venture, New York Life's co-investment together with Max Estates uh, for the office project in Noida, uh, which is going to be 1.2 million square feet. And therefore, uh, the combination of the 
proceeds from the packaging business and also the continued co-investment from New York Life uh, from an equity perspective uh, has enabled us to continue to grow the real estate business, acquire a scale of 7 million square feet of underdevelopment and a total a scale of close to 10 million square feet uh, in a very conservative uh, financial uh, manner uh, as a result of uh, uh, not only the exit of the packaging business but also New York Life's co-investment. Uh, so 7 million is currently under construction, right? Uh, yes, we have so now... So what is this 10 million square feet? So we already have 2 million square Correct. feet that is developed and leased and 7 million square feet is what we have signed up across the four, uh, across the three opportunities uh, in residential and commercial uh, across Noida and Gurgaon. So that makes a 9, right? Seven. Yes, and we are hoping that we will add to uh, that uh, something in Gurgaon, which is a residential development as well in the coming few months. Uh, so that will hopefully take us to uh, a, a sizable portfolio, as I mentioned. So the Gurgaon announcement should happen in FI23, which will enable you to develop another 1 million square feet. That's correct. Okay, and that's again a same split uh, between residential and commercial or... So we are looking for a residential okay. opportunity. Uh, we have recently announced a commercial opportunity in Gurgaon. So there will be a residential and commercial project in Noida and a residential and commercial project in Gurgaon as well that we uh, hope to close soon. Okay. Uh, so by when uh, do you think the uh, merger that is uh, announced between Max Estates and Max Ventures be completed? Uh, so we have received uh, the first set of approvals from SEBI uh, and uh, we are confident that uh, by March 23, uh, through the NCLT process, we will be able to complete the merger and Max Estates therefore can become the directly listed company uh, for our real estate business. I just had a follow up. You are saying 10 million square feet of uh, portfolio. Uh, can you split it up for us, say in residential and in commercial terms, so that just a ballpark figure in terms of what kind of bookings you're looking at? Because you said your average realization is between 12,000 to 16,000 per square feet. So we are uh, the split for the 10 million. In, uh, so so the split for the 10 million is going to be approximately six and a half million for office space and three and a half million for residential okay. in total. Okay. All right. So uh, last question before we let you go. Uh, I just wanted to check uh, what would your lease rentals look like, say, uh, four to five years down the line with this new uh, you know new portfolio coming in. In FY22, the rental income was around 37 crore rupees. Um, how much can you add on to this one? So just as an illustration, we uh, started leasing at Max Towers at 95 rupees a square foot in 2019. And through COVID, not only have we been able to get 100% occupancy, but our last closed rental is 130 rupees a square foot. Uh, so we're very confident of a significant re-rating as uh, most of the leases, um, you know, come to expiry over the next six, uh, five to six years or so. Uh, so there is significant uplift that's available here. Our second development, Max House, is also 100% leased. And uh, again, we've almost touched 140, 145 rupees a square foot with the last lease that we've signed there. So we're very confident uh, of a uh, significant uplift in terms of our rental realizations moving forward and also two new developments uh, which are anticipated to get completed in the next six to nine months. One is Max Square and the second is the second phase of Max House Okla also come to market uh, in the coming financial year. So we're very confident that, that we will anticipate an increase in the rental realizations for the company and hopefully uh, we will be able to launch our first residential project as well. So the sales collections for that uh, uh, are also anticipated in the coming financial year. All right. Good luck with all your plans, Sahil. Thank you so much for joining us and giving us all those details. So big expansion plans in place uh, for Max Ventures. They are looking at a portfolio of 10 million square feet, largely towards commercial, 6.5 there, and the rest, 3.5 towards residential real estate. Well, that will slip into a short break now. But before we do that, here's some great news for investors. You can now track U.S. market action real time on Money Control. Log on to Money Control website or app and stay informed about all that matters in global markets.